All right, welcome back to the course, Helping Your Clients Through Auction. Uh, we're getting close to the end here, and now basically we've covered the majority of the auction and some of the ideas and concepts and what auction types are. Uh, just one little section I want to finish up with. This deals with the state requirements for auctions, all right? Now, I want to be the first one to admit that I'm not a licensed auctioneer. So the Indiana Code is called tw Title 25, and Article 6.1 deals with auctions and auctioneers. So unless you're a licensed auctioneer, realtors cannot perform auctions. Now, there's a slight difference here. Remember, we discussed this English auction, which we call the round robin. This is the auction we're talking about. This is the one that you actually have to be licensed for. Sealed bid auctions, which we do, calling them the highest and the best, I believe, once again, I'm not a licensed auctioneer, there's no license required for that. So we cannot stand in the front yard and go, hey, give me five, give me 10, give me 20, give me 30, the English style or the round robin. That requires the auctioneer. But if we had a sealed bid auction where everybody bids once and nobody knows the other bids, and if you forget what that is, go back and listen to a couple of the previous episodes that talk about those different types of auctions. We are not allowed, or we are allowed to do those. We call them highest and best, okay? So we have to adhere to the auctions at all time and the state laws that, that abide by it. That's why you hired the auctioneer and that's why you will turn that process of the sale or the closing there with them that day. We still have to abide by all of our obligations under administrative law and license law on how we're helping our client during the auction, before the auction and after the auction. So we still have agency here and we still would have to make sure that we adhere to our laws and rules as well. But during the day of the auction, the auctioneer is going to take over for us and he is going to perform the auction based on his license laws and things of that nature, all right? So if you have any more questions about the license law or how it works, uh, feel free to Google Indiana Code Title 25 and that will explain it to you if you are really bored and want to go through some of the quotes, okay? All right, so I thanks uh, for coming to this class, and I thank you for bearing with me here on this uh, basement that we've got, all right? So now don't forget that if you have any questions, feel free to email me, send it to Raymond at realuniversity.com and don't forget this course is approved by the state for two hours of continuing ed we real university will send your certificate through a database to the state for you if you want to print the certificate off feel free just go up into the print certificates button and click your certificate for you all right we send all of the data to the state for you that is the service that real university provides all right i hope to see you again in another class and come back and talk to us later bye